competition was always in my blood. You know, the competition level now is at the highest it's ever been. I'm competing against the world's best every single day. I've always felt like he could be one of the best, if not the best hurdler on the planet, and right now he's, he's that guy. Now that I'm on this world stage, I think it all goes back to me just wanting to compete against everybody at a, at a younger age. Raising Grant was, uh, or still is, an awesome experience. When Grant was growing up, we wanted to instill in him, of course, a sense of home, but we also wanted him to realize that you have to be able to persevere when things don't go your way, just as much as you celebrate when they do go your way. Grant was an athlete here um, around 2015 through 2019. He was a sprinter and had a knee injury, and that's when I first met him. He had about a five millimeter cartilage loose piece, probably the size of a dime. And then he had pain and swelling because he had a cartilage defect. And so we had to take that piece out and then try to get that to fill in with some new cartilage. Dr. Farmers and our relationship was, I think, set in stone as soon as I went under for, for, for my knee scope. He was right there when I woke up. He was right there to send me out the door. He was always by my side when I needed him. It was the first time I was off my feet, kind of like learning how to walk again, which was tough, but you know, I took it with a, with a grain of salt and I took it as a challenge just to continue just to you know, work at it, get better at it. After the injury, my job as the coach is to wait for the training staff, the medical staff, the doctors to tell me when I can have them back. And once I get them back, then again, I follow the lead of the trainers to make sure I don't do too much too soon. I was just looking forward just to getting back on the track and really just get the juices flowing and move. But that second track meet, man, I was able to break the collegiate record at the time. It was, it was remarkable. It was heartwarming to see him grow up and it was kind of like a setback, but he was able to accomplish greater things once he did come back. Dr. Farmer did an amazing job. He was with me the whole way. Even between track meets, he was always checking in, coming to the track, making sure everything was smooth. I think that goes to show you that between University of Florida Track and Field and UF Health, everybody is doing their part to be a part of that Gator community. I remember sitting there watching him on the world stage several years ago with my son, and, and, and you're, you're fully invested because you, you know what he's gone through to get to this point, and I can certainly feel like I'm a part of that process, and it really is something that in my career is, is always a highlight. We, we really care about each other. We talk about things other than track and field. We talk about life. We talk about relationships, and you know, we both challenge each other to be better people, and I would never miss going to Paris this year for anything in the world. The world stage is set. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, gold is at the top of my list, but for the big stage, you gotta have a big moment. And I think I'm ready for that big moment.